Hello. Welcome to part four in the video series about Linux Mint uh, version 18. In this series, or in this video, what we'll be going over today is how to install software on your Linux Mint uh, version 18. Uh, let me start by saying uh, installing videos on your Linux Mint system is very, very simple and very easy. Uh, if you come from Windows, um, normally you would need to either go to a website to download your software or you would need to go to a store or somewhere and buy a CD or DVD come home put that DVD or CD into your uh, your DVD or CD drive and install it from there um, you can do all those things with Linux as well but it's uh, even easier with Linux because Linux has a uh, what are known as uh, databases that are called repositories and those re repositories hold literally hundreds if not thousands and thousands of software that um, that is specifically configured for your Linux distribution your Linux Mint distribution you you could think of the same thing as the equivalent of um, uh, the Google Store for, for your Android phone or um, the, uh, the iPhone store whatever that is I'm not a, I'm not an Apple uh, fan guy so I wouldn't know whatever the Apple store is for for your Apple products so Linux has the same equivalent but they're called repositories um, and they're usually free so that works out even better for you so to install software through the GUI there are many ways of doing it the GUI is probably going to be the easiest for a person who's just starting out with Linux but to get there you just go down to the menu button left click on menu and you can go to software manager left click on that and then put in your password of course actually I think it's package manager and then just wait for it to come up oh okay yeah so software manager and with software manager all you gotta do is just type in the package that you're looking for okay you can do a search right up here for it if you know the package name if you don't know the package name and you just know what type of package you're looking for say like if it's for an example uh, if you're looking for a browser you can come here look at uh, the internet icon left click on that and you'll find a whole bunch of stuff dealing with the internet whether it's a browser whether it's a, a FTP uh, client that you want to use an email client they, they've got Skype they've got a whole bunch of stuff here but anyway in order to download it you just go to it uh, and then you can let's see let's double click on it yep and then you can install it now I don't have FileZilla on this one I'll probably install it um, but that's what you do let's see you just scroll down here yeah and then you just go ahead and install it hit the install button wait for it to install and then once it's installed it's already prepackaged and ready for you it's already it'll configure it onto your system as soon as it uh, downloads it and that's how you can install software on uh, Linux Mint and like I said this is free so you can't get no better than that down here it's uh, it's still installing so we'll wait on that um, and like I say it'll install to your system once it installs to your system you just go to uh, go to it from the menu bar and basically whatever it is like this is FileZilla FileZilla is a um, is an FTP client um, um, application for uploading and downloading your um, your uh, software and your files 
you can either upload it to a system or download it from a system let's see here package filezilla could not be installed trace back there's an error message it failed okay huh well let's look down here and see if we can find it anyway so you just you want to go down here to the menu button you left click on the menu button and then let's see you come up here to where it says all applications you don't want all applications you or you do want all applications and then from there you go to where it says internet and as you can see filezilla was installed successfully let's left click it and look at it see if it loads up okay so I'm not sure why I said that it didn't install it did install and it installed successfully this is the filezilla application with the documentation and everything click OK it did install it installed successfully alright so basically that's how you would install software you can also let's see this is software manager you can also close out of this one go back to the menu button left click on the menu button go to control center left click on control center and you also have Symantec package manager that's another software package manager that you can use you can just left click on it it's gonna ask for your password go ahead and put in your password and then that comes up if this is your first time using this this will come up and it's it's just talking about the package manager it gives you a quick introdu introduction if you do not want this to come up again you can just hit show this dialog show this dialog at startup or if you want to I don't want to I just click close out of it and then I maximize my screen and then once again you can come here and look uh, for a package here if you know what type of package you're looking for you can just highlight the um, this this um, this left pane over here and it'll tell you what type of packages it has under this subject whether it's communications databases what have you or if you don't know or if you already know the name you can just type the name in here let's just type in uh, let's see file Zilla I'm looking for it. Let's see. Let's go ahead and hit the reload button. It's not finding it. Probably because it's already installed. But that's all right. we do know it's installed because we already installed it through the other package manager I will also go ahead and caution you whichever package uh, uh, software package you decide to use use that for all your installation of your software or your packages okay uh, because these two are different and you might have some unforeseen conflicts and that's probably what's happening here so I would just go ahead and use the same software package manager which we downloaded FileZilla I believe through yeah it was through software manager and once again let's go ahead and put in the password once you do that then it'll load up and there you go again all right And we'll type in FileZilla. We'll do a search. And there it is right there. Okay. And if we double click it, it should say, yeah, it's already installed. All right. Very good. So that's how you install packages in your Linux uh, Mint version 18. Thank you very much for looking at this video. And I hope you have a good day.